Uh, 9.37 now at Fox 40. Uh, hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Uh, I've heard of it for many, many years for humans. I've seen those chambers. I've heard about the benefits. I've never heard of anybody offering it for pets. Yes, this morning we are speaking to Dr. Gary Richter by uh, Skype this morning. He is over in Oakland, and we are so curious about what this can do for our pets. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. It's nice to have you. Uh, for those who have not heard about the, the benefits of hyperbaric chambers, and I'm, I'm assuming the same benefits for people as for animals, what, uh, what's the purpose of one of those things? Well, uh, you're right. There are uh, pretty much the same benefits as, as people with animals. So uh, we treat a lot of animals with hyperbaric oxygen uh, with problems ranging from uh, trauma to uh, wounds that won't heal, uh, any type of inflammatory process, um, and, and really any, any disease that, that would be characterized by uh, a lack of oxygen in the tissues can really benefit. Now, what happens when people or animals go in there and the door closes, what is happening? Uh, well, basically what's happening is, is the chamber is filling up with oxygen and it, and it fills up at pressure to somewhere between one and a half and two atmospheres of pressure with 100% oxygen. So really what's happening is, is oxygen is being forced into the bloodstream and into the tissues at a much, much higher rate than would be if we were just breathing room air. Okay, now from the video that we're watching, it looks like the animals just kind of go right into the chamber. Is there any kind of sedation required so it doesn't stress them out? I imagine uh, experiencing something like this might be a little intimidating <laughs> uh, the, to some. The, the one we're looking at now seems very happy, <laughs> but some may not be. You know, uh, it's interesting that uh, most animals do very, very well with it. Claustrophobia is not something that a lot of animals experience. You may have seen that, you know, sometimes when animals are stressed, they'll look for a very small, confined space to be in. Hmm. So uh, generally speaking, they tolerate it great. Most of them just lay down and take a nap. Okay, so um, what kind of pet would be going in this and for what type of ailment? Yeah, any, any unusual animals made a trip into your hyperbaric chamber? Well, the, the most unusual animal we've treated was a rooster that had a huh? foot infection. <laughs> wow. Was he well behaved? He was extremely well behaved. His name was Jerry. Jerry the rooster, and he Jerry recovered rooster. quickly? He did very, very well, yes. That's so interesting. Um, I, I have not heard of this in our area at all. Now, you're in the Bay Area, correct? That is correct, yeah. Well, well, can I ask, what does it cost to send my kitty cat or my rooster or my dog into the hyperbaric <laughs> chamber? Sure. Each treatment is uh, $170. And how many treatments are typical for uh, an animal, or does it vary depending on what they're, what's ailing them? It's, it's very, very variable. It could range anywhere from two or three treatments all the way up to ten or more, uh, depending on what's going on and how long it's been uh, going on. Let, let me end by this. Uh, how unusual is this? I mean, are we, are, 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 how many people are doing what you're doing? Um, it's... it's Fairly unusual at this point, but it is becoming more and more uh, popular and accepted within veterinary medicine. Fascinating. Uh, we're glad you took the time to talk to us, and uh, we wish all the animals you treat well. And, Doctor, thanks. Uh, you have a great day. Thanks so much. Have a good day. You bet. Wow. Our pleasure. That is so interesting. There you go. Nice talking to him. All right. Speaking of pets, pets looking for forever homes getting a major makeover.